This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Freestaters and friends, providing the services to each other, which would normally go to society at large. Anytime you have a group of 1,500 people united, more or less, for a similar cause in the same general area, you're going to have trade, internal trade within the organization. With porcupines in New Hampshire, this has taken on a virtuous cycle, which of course is most visible at their annual Porkfest event. There may be nothing in the world that more closely resembles a pure, full-fledged, free trade zone uh, than in Porkfest for one week every year. The question now is, to what extent are free staters succeeding in creating a society within a society where you can get 90% of the products or services you want from a liberty activist at a competitive price inside New Hampshire? You can sure get advertising and reporting of some kind from me and others. That was one of the first things to spring up. Now you can get uh, first aid. It's not actually a, for, for commerce, but there's free first aid at Porkfest and there's an organization called freeaid.com. You could call it the uh, proto infrastructure for the porcupine's medical capability. It uh, you know is uh, facing kinds of hurdles that journalists wouldn't face in the sense that the, uh, the medical profession is so regulated in comparison. But at least something is springing up. You know, and in so many ways, trade is the answer to so many problems. I've noticed how it's become a lot easier to trade with porcupines, and I find myself doing quite a bit more of it than I used to because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin may not make it easier to pay Walmart, but it makes it really a cinch to pay pretty much any free stater, no matter where you are. I wonder, there's, you know, there's a lot of Bitcoin meetups around New Hampshire these days, and I wonder to what extent those are maybe becoming uh, places where there's a lot of general trade going on, uh, not just Bitcoin. They, they certainly should be that kind of place if they're not. Someone once told me trade just happens, but uh, to some extent you, you need to encourage it. You need to provide a good environment for it. And Porcupine Fest is such a great example of that. There's so much more trade there than there is at most events with the possible exception of a flea market. But anyway, that's my dream someday to be able to do, you know, conduct 90 of my 90% of my business within the free state or community. What are you doing to help me reach that goal? Awesome. No, nope. can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.